हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू आई टैब एंड वेलकम टू आर रिविजन सीरीज फॉर द नबार्ड ग्रेड एट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फेज टू सो टुडे वी गोना कवर एनिमल हजबेंड्री पार्ट टू येस्टरडे इन येस्टरडे सेशन वी कवर्ड एनिमल हजबेंड्री पार्ट वन एंड टुडे वी गोना कवर दी पार्ट टू ऑफ एनिमल हजबेंड्री टॉपिक विच इज पार्ट ऑफ योर ए आर डी स्टैटिक सिलेबस सो इफ यू कैन हेयर मी प्रॉपरली एंड यू कैन सी मी प्रॉपरली देन प्लीज टाइप येस इन द चैट बॉक्स हेलो एवरी वन हेलो तेजस्विनी हेलो धूमल एंड अ वेरी हैप्पी होली टू ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज एंड आई सी नॉट मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आर हेयर इन द लाइफ सेशन आई थिंक दे आर सेलिब्रेटिंग होली ओके सो पीपल आर सेइंग आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल ओके हेलो अमोल हेलो राज सो शुड वी स्टार्ट विद द सेशन नाउ ओके बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वांट टू टेल यू आर रिजल्ट्स ऑफ 2019 सो हियर आर द रिजल्ट्स ऑफ आर 2019 एंड हियर आर द रिजल्ट्स ऑफ ईयर 2018 एंड अगेन आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट वी आर रनिंग 50% ऑफ ऑन आर नबार्ड कोर्सेज एंड यू कैन यूज द कोड नबार्ड 50 टू अवेल द 50% परसेंट डिस्काउंट एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी देन यू कैन मेल अस एट हेलो एट एड यू टैप डॉट को डॉट इन ऑल्सो यू कैन कॉल अस ऑन दिस नंबर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ डेरी ब्रीड सो येस्टरडे आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट डेरी ब्रीड्स टेल मी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ डेरी ब्रीड येस्टरडे आई एक्सप्लेन यू डेरी ब्रीड्स ड्राउड ब्रीड्स एक्जॉटिक ब्रीड्स डुअल पर्पज ब्रीड टेल मी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ डेरी ब्रीड Hello everybody and a very happy holi to all of you please try to answer question number first which of the following is not a dairy breed so dhumal says it's option 4 that is amrit mahal amol also says it's 4 come on guys try to answer it's a very easy question in yesterday's session i also told you about this Okay, so most of you are saying it's option fourth, and that is the correct answer. Amrit Mahal is not a dairy breed. Actually, Amrit Mahal is a drought breed of cattle, or you can say cow. So, Amrit Mahal is a drought breed of cow, and Murra is actually a dairy breed, but it's a dairy breed of buffalo. So, you should identify this that uh, these are breeds of buffalo or cow. Gir is a breed of cow, and it's a dairy breed. then holstein fries and again a cow breed and it's an exotic breed again a dairy breed and amrit mahal is a drought breed and jersey again it's again it's a exotic breed of cow and it's also a dairy breed so amrit mahal is not the dairy breed it's the drought breed of cow and uh, murra and gir are the indigenous dairy breed as i told you and jersey and holstein are the exotic dairy breed and here we have the picture of amrit mahal cow and these are the natives of mysore in karnataka so please remember this the origin of these cows now let's move forward to our next question next question is name the goat which is excellent for meat purpose options are black bengal marwadi jamuna pari barbari or all of the above you have to tell me uh, tell me the name of the goat which is excellent for meat purpose vabha we don't have any idea about the result so please don't ask that and focus on the on your preparation for the phase 2 name the goat which is excellent for meat purpose again it's not a very difficult question you can answer this Okay, Vasat Raj says it's option three. That is Jamuna Pari. Some says it's Barbary. Some says it's Black Bengal. So I'm getting a variety of answers here. Tejaswini says it's five. That is all all of the above. Okay, actually the correct answer is option first. That is Black Bengal. So Black Bengal is the 
स्पीशीज और द ब्रीड ऑफ गोट विच इज एक्सीलेंट फॉर द मीट पर्पज एंड ब्लैक बेंगाल गोट्स आर ग्रोन प्राइमरीली फॉर मीट मिल्क एंड स्किन एंड दे आर फेमस फॉर इट्स क्वालिटी ऑफ मीट एंड लेदर एंड हेयर वी हैव द पिक्चर ऑफ ब्लैक बेंगाल गोट एंड दे आर जनरली फाउंड इन ईस्टर्न एंड नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न इंडिया एंड इन बांग्लादेश सो प्लीज रिमेंबर द ओरिजिन ऑफ दीज गोट्स एंड द लोकेशन वेयर दे आर फाउंड सो दे आर फाउंड इन ईस्टर्न एंड नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न इंडिया एंड इन बांग्लादेश एंड दे आर ब्लैक इन कलर as you can see in the picture now let's move forward to our next question so next question is which of the following is an exotic breed of goat options are barbary jhakrana sanen sirohi and none of the above exotic breed you have to tell me exotic breed of goat Come on, guys. Try to answer question number third. Which of the following is an exotic breed of goat? Okay. Amol says it's option three. Dhumal says it's option one. Some are saying option three. That is Sanen. Also, yeah. ओके करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थर्ड दैट इज सानेन सो सानेन इज एन एक्सॉटिक ब्रीड ऑफ गोट अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट बारबरी झकराना एंड सिरोही दीज थ्री आर इंडिजीनियस ब्रीड सो इंडिजीनियस ब्रीड एज आर द वन विच आर फाउंड इन इंडिया और दे हैव ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम इंडिया बट सानेन सानेन इज अ फॉरन ब्रीड इट्स इट्स एन एक्सॉटिक ब्रीड इफ आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अबाउट सम मोर इंडिजीनियस ब्रीड्स ऑफ गोट सो दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर दैम प्रॉपरली सो देर इज बारबरी यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन दैन देर इज जमनापुरी सो जमनापुरी इज ऑल्सो अ इंडिजीनियस ब्रीड दैन देर इज बीताल बीताल इज एन इंडिजीनियस ब्रीड ऑफ गोट दैन ब्लैक बेंगाल वी हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन सो यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट टू then sirohi is already mentioned in the options and then there is changthangi from this goat pashmina wool is produced and then there is malabari and then there is surti and jhakrana is already mentioned in the options so these are the indigenous breeds of goat the, uh major most important breeds of indigenous breeds of goat you should remember these names and if we talk about exotic breeds so exotic is sanen which is mentioned in the question itself then there is togenberg togenberg is again a exotic breed of goat then there is french alpine which is found in the alps region of europe and then there is uh, anglo nubian obviously these are found in england then uh, actually togenberg is found, found in switzerland so in this way you can remember them french alpine in alps region of europe anglo nubian from england so these are the most important exotic breeds of goat guys please remember these names these are the indigenous breeds and these are the exotic breeds of goat and in the question itself sanen breed was mentioned so which is an exotic breed in india and these are native of sanen valley of switzerland and this is the largest among all the dairy goat breeds please remember this this is a unique fact about these goats sanen is the largest among all the dairy goat breeds now let's move forward to our next question so next question is which of the following is not a viral disease so disease in animals disease in plants these are the favorite topics of nabard that's why these are more important for us so tell me which of the following is not a viral disease options are lycosis rinderpest coccidiosis fmd and marix disease tell me which of the following is not a viral disease yes in yesterday session we discussed about fmd which is foot and mouth disease so this is a viral disease this is caused by virus we know that so four cannot be the answer tell me what is the correct answer okay all of you are saying it's option 2 that is rinderpest and that is not the correct answer correct answer is coccidiosis so coccidiosis is not a viral disease it is caused by parasite so it is a parasitic disease please remember this and also remember that leucosis rinderpest foot and mouth disease and marix disease these four are the viral disease which are caused in animals 
so coccidiosis is a parasitic disease as i told you and it affects the intestinal tract of animals and it is caused by coccidian protozoa and uh, the disease spreads from one animal to another by contact with infected feces or ingestion of infected tissue so please remember this the coccidiosis is a an animal disease and it is caused by parasite next question is duroc is a breed of which animal tell me is it sheep swine poultry goat or none of these so duroc is a breed of which animal come on guys try to answer question number 5th duroc is a breed of sheep swine poultry goat or none of these swine actually means pig now tell me okay some are saying it's option 2 some are saying it's option 3 correct answer is actually option 2 swine so duroc is a breed of swine it is a breed of pig so you should remember this and i want to tell you some other breeds of pig also so you can remember other uh, breeds of pig are berkshire these are most famous breeds so these can be asked in the exam that's why i'm telling you then there is chester white then there is hampshire there is also a uh, landris and uh, there is a uh, poland china then there is spotted breed and also yorkshire and duroc is mentioned in the question itself so these are the most famous breeds of pig and these can be asked in the exam that's why you need to remember these names So duroc pig is an old breed of domestic pig so duroc is actually a domestic pig breed and these have originated in the united states so it is an american breed of pig and it is one of the several pig strains which was developed developed around 1800s in new england that's why it is called as old breeds of pig and uh, the breed is of very good behavior and has relatively calm temperament now let's move forward to our next question next question is which of the following statements is false so you have to tell me the false statement here options are jafrabadi is a heavy breed of buffalo second is bershile is a breed of pig third is badavri is known for highest fat content fourth is chegu is a biggest breed of goat and fifth is all are true tell me which of the following statements are false so most of the things that is mentioned in this question we discuss those in the yesterday section so try to remember that and answer this question okay most of you are saying option 4th and tejaswini is saying it's option 5th okay correct answer is option 4th uh, that is chegu is a biggest breed of goat this is statement false now tell me if chegu is not the biggest breed of goat then which is the biggest breed of goat you told me that option 4th is incorrect that is true now tell me which is the biggest breed of goat if chegu is not the biggest breed okay anurag is saying no idea no problem vasat raj is saying it's sanen okay correct answer is jamna puri so jamna puri is the biggest breed of goat and not chegu that's why option 4th is wrong but we have some correct options also so you should remember them that jafrabadi is a heavy breed of buffalo and that's why it is also known as mini elephant so please remember this this can be asked in the exam which is the heaviest breed of buffalo it is jafrabadi and that's why it is also known as mini elephant then bershile as i just told you it's a breed of pig that is correct bhadavri bhadavri is known for highest fat content so bhadavri is a breed of buffalo and they are known for their highest fat content and the biggest breed of goat is jamnapuri 
so jamna puri is a biggest breed of goat and these are a very beautiful dairy goat breed which was originated from india and these breed was first introduced near a river of uttar pradesh named as jamuna or yamuna that's why they are known as jamuna puri and they are also known as by some other names also like ram sagol and they become highly meat and milk productive and also very suitable for show and you also need to remember that they are one of the giant goat breeds with a pair of very long ear so if this unique characteristics is mentioned in the question then that goat is jamuna puri it's a very it have a pair of a very long ear and they are giant goat breeds now let's move forward to our next question next question is what is the body temperature of chicken in degree celsius tell me body temperature of chicken tell me what is the body temperature of chicken bashir we have no idea of expected date of result but you can expect the result after holi so maybe in a two, in 2 two, 3 days result will come most probably okay amul says it's option first that is 41.7 dumol also says it's first come on guys try to answer this question what is the body temperature of chicken in degree celsius you have to tell me okay correct answer is option first so most of you are correct that is 41.7 degree celsius so chickens have a much higher body temperature than humans so humans actually have a body temperature of 98. Point 6 degree fahrenheit and if we talk about in celsius then it is around 37 degree celsius so you can see that normal chicken body temperature is higher than humans because their temperature ranges from 105 to 107 degree fahrenheit and in celsius it is 41.7 so please remember these figures next question is purpose of homogenization is what to kill non spore forming bacteria to mix all impurities to break down fat globules all of the above or none of the above see i uh, already told you about homogenization in yesterday's lecture so you should know this question purpose of homogenization is what i already explained you the process of homogenization in the yesterday's lecture okay someone says is option 3 can we have more answers okay vaibhav says it's option 2 okay most of it saying it's option 3 and that is correct purpose of homogenization is to break down flat fat globules and uh, through this process flat globules are br broke down into small a uh, very small particles and then they are distributed uniformly across the liquid or you can say milk that is the pro uh, process of homogenization so as i already told you it is a process of breaking down the fat molecules in milk cream and it's a physical process and it have some health benefits also by making milk fat more digestible to human and it also give milk its rich white color and smooth texture now let's move forward to our next question next question is the practice of keeping bees and manufacturing of honey and bees wax is known as what apiculture honey culture pisi culture seri culture or none of these see these kind of question are asked in the exam i think in nabar 20 uh, 20 question about sericulture was asked in the exam now tell me practice of keeping bees and manufacturing of honey bee honey and bees wax is known as what okay i'm getting option first as a answer and that is correct apiculture so practice of keeping bees and manufacturing of honey and beeswax is known as apiculture and there is nothing like honey culture then pisi culture is actually fish farming please remember these these are very important from the examination point of view then sericulture is uh, actually production of silk through silk worms or rearing of silk worms you can say 
rearing of silk worms is known as sericulture then there is floriculture also so floriculture is flower farming farming of flowers is known as floriculture then there is olary culture so what is olary culture it is the vegetable farming or production of vegetables then there is pomiculture what is pomiculture it is farming of fruits farming or production of fruits is known as pomiculture so these are the most important that can be asked in the exam so please remember them so here we have some starting information about apiculture so apiculture is a technique of scientific rearing of honey bees in a specially designed wooden box for the manufacturing of honey and bees wax and apiary apiary is a method of apiculture where bees are bred commercially and uh, apiaries can be set up in areas where there are sufficient bee pastures and in india there are uh, following species of bees are found so western honey bee is known as apis mellifera eastern honey bee is known as apis serena indica rock bee is known as apis dorsata and small bush bee is known as apis floria so these are the species of bees which is found in india please remember the, their names apis mellifera apis serena indica apis dorsata and apis floria now let's move forward to our next question next is kali masi is a name of which poultry bird white leghorn plymouth rock a seal kadaknath and red cornish tell me kali masi is a name of which poultry bo uh, bird okay all of you are saying it's option 4 that is kadaknath and that is correct and why its name is kali masi because kadaknath chicken is black in color that's why it is also known as kali masi so kadaknath or kali masi is an indian breed of chicken and they are local to jhabua and dhar districts of eastern madhya pradesh where they are known as kali masi and they are gaining popularity in south india for the chicken purpose Next question is which of the following is a variety of turkey so turkey is a type of bird you must have heard about it now tell me which of the following is a variety of turkey options are kari pearl kari ujwal kari virat kari shweta or all of the above come on guys answer the question which of the following is a variety of turkey amol says is option 1 amir says is option 5 can we get more answers okay vivek and nilesh also says it's option 1 correct answer is actually option third that is kari virat so kari virat is a variety of turkey and apart from option third that is kari pearl kari ujwal and kari shweta these all are variety of quail so quail is also a type of bird and these are variety of quail and kari virat is a variety of turkey please remember that you can relate this by the name of virat kohli so kari virat is a variety of turkey and these have been developed by central avian research institute which is in izzat nagar and these are the broad breasted white in color so you can see here the picture of kari virat turkey next question is what is the water content in milk in percentage tell me what is the water content in milk in percentage how much percentage of water is present in milk or how water is water constitutes how much percentage in milk it's a very important question this can be asked in the exam okay some are saying it's option first some are saying it's option third
correct answer is actually option 4th that is 80 to 87 percent so this much of water is present in the milk and here we have the composition of milk in percentage so in cow's milk water is 86.38 fat is 4.68 protein is 3.36 and lactose is 4.91 if we talk about buffalo then water is 83.63 uh, slightly lesser than the cow mi cow's milk fat is slightly more 6.56 protein is almost same and lactose is slightly more then you can see in sheep milk 79.40 is the percentage of water and fat is 8.60 so you can say that sheep's milk has the highest content of fat and the lowest content of water in goats in goat's milk it is 86.50 and in human milk it is 87.70 so these are the composition of milk of different animals next question is which of the following poultry breeds belongs to mediterranean class tell me which of the following poultry breeds belongs to mediterranean class Options are White Plymouth Rock and Menorca, Rhode Island Red, Laghorn and Ancona, Laghorn, Menorca and Ancona, New Hampshire, Sussex and Offington and Sussex and Offington. Tell me which of the following poultry weed belongs to the Mediterranean class. So there are ma many classes of the poultry breeds. Tell me which of the following belongs to the Mediterranean class. Okay, Ratan and Amol says it's option 2. Come on guys, try to answer this. Okay, most of you are saying it's option 2. Correct answer is option 3rd actually. Laghorn, Minorca and Ancona. These are the uh, poultry breeds that belongs to the Mediterranean class. So to end your confusion, here are all the classes given for the poultry. So English class are Australopes, Sussex and Offington. Please remember this. These are the English class. In Mediterranean class, Laghorn, Minorca and Ancona is there. In Indian class, Asil and Karanthnath is there. And in American class, there is New Hampshire, Van Dutte II, White Plymouth Rock and Rhode Island Red. These are the American class. Guys, please remember this. This is very, very important from the examination point of view from the chapter of Animal Husbandry. Next question is, hatching of fertilized egg requires how many days? Tell me, hatching of fertilized egg requires how many days? 25 days, 19 days, 23 days, 21 days or 17 days? Shobit, all the static part of ARD have been covered in our notes and videos. So you can refer that. Hatching of fertilized egg requires how many days? I think it's option 2 that is 91 days. So hatching of fertilized egg requires how many days? 21 days. So what is hatching? So hatching of egg refers to the production of baby chicks and under one hand only 10 to 12 eggs can be put and the physical factors such as uh, physical factors necessary for successful incubation like temperature, humidity, gases, environment and turning of eggs and fertilized eggs takes about 21 days to hatch and the relative humidity should be around 60% during the first 18 days of incubation and 70% in the last 3 days for optimum hatchability. So these are the uh, climatic conditions for, uh, for hatching of egg. Last question for today's session is fungal disease of poultry. Which of the following is the fungal disease of poultry? Monilysis, coccidiosis, foul coryza, Marek's disease or all of the above. So you can easily eliminate actually option 2 because I have already explained about this option. Coccidiosis is a parasitic disease. It cannot be the fungal disease. So 2 cannot be the answer. Tell me fungal disease of poultry.
people are saying it's option two. Actually, it cannot be option two. That's why that's what I explained just now. Coccidiosis cannot be the answer because it's a parasitic disease. I already discussed that in the uh, previous questions. Some are saying it's option third. Some are saying it's option first. Come on, guys, try to answer more. Okay, again, three and one. So people are confused between three and one. Correct answer is actually first. That is monolysis. So monolysis is the fungal disease. It happens due to fungus or fungi or fungi. And foul coryza is actually a bacterial disease. It happens due to bacteria. Marek's disease is actually viral disease. It happens due to virus. So please remember these that these all are the disease of poultry that can be asked in the exam. And monolysis caused by fungi, coccidiosis by parasite, foul coryza by bacteria, and Marek's by virus. So monolysis is a bird is a disease in a bird of the element elementary tract and it is caused by the fungal yeast called Candida albicans and com it commonly affects poultry and birds throughout the world and fungus causes infection of the mouth and throat. So please remember this monolysis is a fungal disease and it is it uh, affects poultry and birds throughout the world so guys that was it for today's session thank you so much for watching this session here we have completed the animal husbandry that we have covered in two parts part one and part two today we covered the part two of animal husbandry and tomorrow we'll come up with a new session for the phase two of nabad grade a now if you want to ask anything apart from cutoff and result then you can ask i'll try to answer your question for a few minutes then we'll wind up the session And you, if you have any query, then uh, you can mail us at hello at edutab.co.in. Also, you can call us on this number, which is 8146207241. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for coming uh, for the session. I know that today is holy. You all must be celebrating. And thank you so much for coming to the session. Dumal time management is the key if you want to uh, prepare for SEBI and NABAD simultaneously, there is no other thing. Rather, there is not much difference between the question asked in phase 1 and phase 2. So, uh, level is not that much different. So, you have to cover all syllabus like ARD, static, those kind of question is asked. Then there are reports are there. Uh, then uh, actually, agriculture reports are there. And... Uh, Indices, question asked from indices also, census, SECC, economic survey, these things are important for you. And we all try to cover those in uh, this revision series. And some things we already covered in the phase one revision series, which are relevant for the phase two also. So you can watch those videos also. Okay, Amir. Okay, we will try to cover the variety of fruits and vegetables also. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. Guys, I have no idea about English test, but uh, I will try to uh, communicate that to the English faculty so that they can inform you guys. Vaishali, we are trying our best to come up with more questions. Actually, we, we pick a most important question for you. I think descriptive English paper sessions are already going there on the channel. So you can watch them. Tejasvini. Okay, guys. Okay. I think I've answered all of your questions. Okay. Now I, I'm winding up the session. Thank you so much for watching this video or session. And uh, happy learning. All the best for your preparation. Bye-bye. Take care.